I um, wrote a letter after many, many drafts for Kelly to read after I am no longer here. And I'd just like to read out a few sections from that now. Darling Kelly, I'm so sorry I will not get to see you grow up as I so want to. Please don't blame people or the world for this. A lot of life is simply luck and mine, unfortunately, is running out. While your old dad is still around, I thought I'd try to give you some life advice in one go. I hope it gives you some comfort. And I'd just like to go through a few topics now. School. Everyone will say it's vital to work hard at school. Hopefully you'll always do your best, Kelly. I did well at school, but did it do me much good in life? Not really. Schoolwork is important but make sure you have fun too. Boys, at the moment you don't make much, much distinction between girls and boys and see all children as friends. That's typical of your sweet nature, Cal. But that will change as you get older. You might see them as stinky, pesky classmates in a few years time, but probably at secondary school, you'll realize they can be quite nice. You'll have boyfriends when you're older much, much older, hopefully. I won't be here to grill them about their intentions. So here's some advice from your old man. It's very hard to describe how it feels to be in love. You might remember seeing your mum and I laughing together and cuddling on the sofa. And once the love hearts and flowers fade, that's what real love looks like. Have fun finding it, darling. Marriage. I always dreamt about your wedding day and imagine filling it with tears as I walked you down the aisle before giving you away. I won't be able to do that, Kelly. Sorry, sweetheart. But I will be looking over your shoulder. On that day, proud and happy, you have found someone special to love you and care for you. I wonder if you'll play what you call the family song, which is really I'll Be There by the Jackson Five. It meant so much to my brother, sister and I growing up, and I know it does to you too. I'll be there on your wedding day in spirit, Kelly. Mummy, you and your mum will argue at times, especially when you're a teenager. Please remember that she adores you and wants the best for you. Please give mummy a hug when she's feeling sad and help each other get through any horrible times when I am gone. When you're a teenager, you might think your friends are right and mummy is wrong, but mummy has to make hard decisions for you, more so than any friend you'll ever have. She has your interests at heart. Treat her well. Family. Nothing is more important than family and the values they give us. Nothing. Christmas and birthdays. Kelly, on your first Christmas without me, I'd love it if you and mummy would light a candle and remember me for a few minutes. It would be great if you two did the monkey dance together. Jumping around, shaking our bottoms always made us laugh. That's meant to make me smile from up above. I'd also love it if you'd visit my parents on Boxing Day. They will be hurting too. I've given Nanny Sue presents for all of your birthdays. I wish I could be there to see you open them. Hopefully you'll like everything, as it's hard to imagine you at 10, 15 and 20 years old. I wonder if you'll still like One Direction. I wonder if they'll still make you dance around the living room. Korea. You were two when you told me you wanted to be a princess astronaut. So you could wear nice dresses and find new planets. You might now realise that's not possible. But so many things are possible for you, darling. Do what makes you happy and what you enjoy. If you do that, life suddenly becomes much, much easier. Kel, you may need to start a few different careers to find one that you really enjoy, but so be it. One life, one chance. Manners. Always remember your pleas and thank yous. The reason mummy and I drum manners into you is because they, ought, they will help you throughout your life. Always be courteous, especially to elders. Never put a knife in your mouth. Remember to write thank you letters for gifts of kindness, as it's always nice to act with grace and gratitude. 
And please note that poo jokes are only funny when you are five, you cheeky girl. Be happy. You never laugh at 50%, Kelly. You always laugh at 100%. Your laugh takes over your whole body and is highly infectious. I hope you never lose that. There is no point in asking you not to be sad when I go. I know you will be, princess. And I wish I could be there to wrap my arms around you and snuggle you until you smile again. Remember the Eeyore teddy I bought you from a charity shop? You said you'd keep him safe and cuddle him when you miss me. I think that's a great idea. You can feel sad and use it as a driving force throughout your life. Or you can just be sad. You know which one I hope you choose. Always remember your life motto, Kelly. Always keep trying. You might remember that I taught you to say, giving up is for losers. I failed a number of times in my life, but never gave up. Kelly, never give up. And finally, thank you for being you, Kelly. Thank you for paying me the biggest compliment of my life by calling me daddy. Having you as my daughter is the biggest honour of my life. Thank you for also teaching me more about love and happiness than any other person. Enjoy your life. Don't rush through it. I will be waiting. All my love, always, to you, princess, and to mummy.